hey guys what's up welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to show you how you can create your first jsp solvet program so before writing the jsp solvet program you need to make sure that you have properly installed java jdk and also install eclipse ide for java ee developers so to check if java jdk is properly installed into your system or not just open the terminal and just type java hyphen hyphen version and if it shows some version like this, then the Java JDK is properly installed into your system. So if you haven't installed the Java JDK, I have already got video for how you can install on Mac OS, Linux or Windows. So you can just check out on the description. So once you install the Java JDK, you need to have installed Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers. So to check, just download. So just click on download Eclipse for Java EE developer and just click on this first link and just click here to get the newer packages so you have to make sure that you have this package of eclipse id not this one so just go here and click on this download button so this will download the eclipse id so you can just properly install and once you install so let me just download so if you are not able to download it or it takes so much time to download you can just select another mirror as well so you can just Try these ones and once you try these ones, this will automatically download and you can install the executable file or DMG file or for Linux, you can just extract the drawer file. So let me just download this one. So I have already downloaded. Let me just double click to install. Let me just drag and drop into the application. So it has been installed. So let me just open the Eclipse ID. So let me just click on open and you can just Check this as a default workspace or you can just choose any one. So let me just browse here and let me just go into the document inside here and create folder. Let me call it Eclipse Projects and just click on open and just click on launch. So here you can see the Eclipse ID has been opened. So let me just close this open message. So here you can see all these options. So we need to choose create dynamic web project. So just click on that and give some name like demo project and just click on next so just click on next so you need to make sure that you have checked on this generate web.xml deployment descriptor so just check on that and just click on finish so here you can see the demo project has been created so once this is done so the next step is we just need to add the jar files so for that just go to your favorite browser again and source for mbn repository.com and you need to add two jars so the one is jsp api so just search for that so here in third you can see the jsp api so you just need to download this one so here you can see the jar so just you need to choose the version first and then after you will be able to see this jar so just click on that so this will download the jar file also we just need to download the sorbet api as well so just search for sorbet api and just choose this first one and you need to choose the version so let me go with 4.0.1 and just click on jar so this will download the java x sorbet as well so let me just close this one and go to the eclipse again and right click on this project so down here you will be able to see this build path so just click on that click on configure build path and just click on this libraries from here so just choose this library and you can see the class path so just click on that so you will be able to see this option of air external jars so just click on that and you just need to add this downloaded jar file so just choose this and you will be able to add here and just click on apply and close so once you add the jar file so let me start writing the program so inside the source here so inside the source inside main and inside web app and inside web.inf we can see here this is the web.xml where we will be putting the mapping so for now so inside web app just right click here and click on new click on jsp file and you just need to give some name so let me just give something like index.jsp or you can give any name and just click enter so just for demo i will write something like this is demo and let me just save this one and just right click and run as run on server so this will ask us to install the server so we will be installing the 
Tomcat server. So for that, let me just choose this Apache and down here you can see the Tomcat. So we just need to download this 9.0 version, not the 10.0. So this might create some problem. So you just need to choose this 9.0 to be safe. And let me just click on next. So here you can see it has automatically given the name. So we just need to click here on download and install. So just click on that and accept the terms of the license agreement and just click on finish. So this will ask us to choose any location. So let me just go inside these documents and let me just choose inside these programs and click on open and let me just click on next and just click on finish. So you can see the Tomcat has been started here. So once this is done, so let me just again right click here and run on server. So let me just choose run on server. So you can see the local host and 9.0 server has been already installed. So just click on next and click on finish. So here you can see the program is running successfully. So here once the Tomcat is properly installed and you can see the first program is running. So now let me just create some form here. So let me just create some form like let me just write form and we just need to add some action. So let me just add the action. Let me call it add. So we will be basically writing a program to add two numbers. And here inside here, let me just put some input, input type text and inside here let me just give some name like number one and let me just give some message also you can just give some message like enter the first number and also let me just write enter the second number let me just give one line break as well and let me just write the input tag and just type type equals to text and just give the name number two and let me just give the line break again and just type input type equals to submit so let me just create one button so submit and at the top let me just give something like demo jsp so let program and let me just save this one so let me just break the line again and let me just save this one and if i just go to the browser again and if i just reload this application so you can see the form here and demo jsp solid program so you can see the form and you can just enter the number and second number and once you submit so we should be able to see the result so for now if i just type here 11 and 11 so this should show some error so you can see there is no mapping so we will be adding the mapping so but for now you can what you can see is in the url you can see the action add and number one and number two here so pretty much the step one is finished so the next step is we just need to write the servlet here so let me just go into this eclipse again and inside this source and inside this main java let me just create new package so let me call it origin codes and let me just click on finish so inside this package we will be creating new class so let me just create new class and let me call it demo servlet and just click on finish so inside here we just need to extend this with http servlet so let me just type extend http servlet so here you can see one error. So this is because we just need to import this HTTP servlet. So once you hover on this, this will show the suggestion. So just click on that import HTTP servlet and this will remove the error. And we just need to write the method. So let me just type public void and just type do get. And inside here, we just need to write the servlet request and servlet response. So just type HTTP servlet request and just type req and here again we just need to import this one as well and again just type http servlet response as well and just type res for this response 
and again just click on this and just import this one and now we just want to take the number one and number two from this index.jsp so for that we just need to write int i and since the input format is in string or text we, we just need to parse here so just type integer dot parse int and we just need to write the request dot get parameter and we just need to write the same name we have given in the input so here you can see we have given number one so we just need to write number one here so this will take this parameter and again let me just do same thing for number two as well so just type integer dot parse int and just type request dot get parameter and just type number two so you just need to give the exact name number two so this will take this number one and number two from our input so once you do that we just want to add these numbers so for that let me just create one new variable k and just type i and j so this will add and for printing we just want to write the print writer so this is basically a print writer class so which will help us to so the output so just type print writer and just type out equals to response dot get writer so just type get writer and we just need to import this one as well so let me just import print writer so java dot io dot print writer and just type out dot print ln and whatever is the result so we will print here so the result is and just type k here so the result is k from here so whatever we will get so this will show the output and this is so showing some warning so we just need to add the throws declaration here inside these methods and the next step is we just need to add the mapping as well so for mapping we just want to go to this web.xml inside this web app so just go inside this web.xml and just click on this source not this design so just click on this source and let me just clear everything from here two things here so just type servlet first and also the servlet mapping so just type servlet mapping and inside this servlet we just want to add two things servlet name so just type servlet name and you can give some name like abc and also we just want to add servlet class and servlet class is basically the location of this demo servlet or servlet whichever you have just created so you just need to give the full fledged name which is basically with the package name so the package name is arjun course so just type that arjun course or whatever you have and just type the name of your class so it's a demo servlet and inside this servlet mapping we just need to write two things servlet name and we just need to give the same name as this one so which is basically abc or you can give any name and you just need to give the url pattern here so the url pattern is basically which we have given inside this index.jsp so here you can see add so we got url pattern as class add so we just need to give the same thing here so just type slash add and just save this one so let me just save this one and once you do that you just need to go to this index.jsp again and let me just give one more break line here just to show it a little bit better and let me just right click here and run as run on server and let me just save this one and let me just choose this local host and this server just click on next just click on finish and let me just restart the server again so now once this is done let me just write something like to mail and to mail so if i just click on submit this will show the this should show the 24 results so you can see the result is 24 so this is how you write your first jsp server program thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel